demolition of the Retuerta Dam on the Arrabaya River, municipality of Umbrias, province of Avila. The Retuerta Dam, located on the Arrabaya River, was built in the 1970s with the purpose of supplying water to a new urban development which was never built. The stretch of river where this dam was built is located in an area protected under the designation of Sierra de Gredos Regional Park. Among the environmental values of the area, fish fauna stands out, with the Arabaya River being considered one of the most important rivers for sustaining fish populations within the Tormes River system. The structure of the dam consists of a wall approximately 14 meters in height and 55 meters in length, which constitutes an impassable barrier for fish species. In January of 2013, once the concession right had expired, the Office of the Water Commissioner of the Duero River Basin Authority authorized the demolition works of the Umbrias Dam in fulfillment of a compensation measure established in an environmental impact statement issued in 2006 by the then Ministry of Environment, a measure that was groundbreaking in our country's legal system. It is important to note that the legislation requires the removal of the infrastructures which, within the boundaries of public waters, are abandoned with no function at all related to water use. This type of actions, sometimes highly controversial, are increasingly demanded by society, aware of the importance of the environmental and hydraulic recovery of our rivers. In the case of the Umbrias Dam, Although there has been no shortage of opposing opinions, many citizens, collectives and associations have requested the demolition. The Duero River Basin Authority, aware of the impact this type of infrastructures has, has been carrying out, as part of its several river enhancement and restoration programs, the demolition of those transversal obstacles which are in a state of abandonment. To date, more than 80 weirs have been torn down, this type of actions are essential in order to achieve a good status in those water bodies that present hydromorphological impacts, a requirement of the Water Framework Directive. In October, prior to the commencement of the works and due to safety concerns, the bottom outlet gates were dismantled, allowing water to circulate freely. The Retuerta Dam demolition works began on February the 5th 2013 and lasted through the following five weeks. Due to the height of the dam and the relief of the area, the main difficulty inherent to the demolition project was the access of machinery to the dam wall. The work began by demolishing the abutment on the left margin using the rubble generated to build a ramp so that the machine could access the dam. As work advanced, the height of the dam was slowly lowered, thus the speed of river flow increased, flowing within the sediment. Once the other margin was reached, the abutment on the right margin and the remaining body of the dam were demolished, removing the rubble as the machine retreated on its path. Once the demolition works were finished, all waste generated was removed, loading it onto containers and transporting it to a treatment plant. This way, the water level was lowered in a controlled manner, beginning the process of mobilization of the sediments accumulated at the dam. As expected, sediment was made up essentially of sands and small-sized gravel deposits. The sediments held back by the dam are part of the sediment flow of the river, and thus, whenever possible, they should be left to be removed and redistributed by the river itself. The controlled lowering of the water level, the abundant river flow and the nature of the deposited sediment, which mainly consists of sands, allowed not needing, at any point, the removal of sediment, 
with water quality remaining as required for sustaining aquatic life. The demolition works concluded on the 1st of March 2013. A few days after finishing the works, the first flood of the year took place, going from relatively constant flows of approximately 4 cubic meters per second during demolition to a peak flow of 60 cubic meters per second. It is precisely during those high water conditions when the river's energy and ability to move sediment can be very clearly appreciated in a constant search for balance, leading to the formation of a new channel. Finally, as a landscape restoration measure, seeding and live stake planting work was carried out using native species in order to promote a rapid recovery of the riparian areas. It is expected that the area will return to its natural condition in a short period of time, with the river recovering its function, allowing not only the free movement of aquatic species, but also the recovery of sediment flows, essential for natural river dynamics processes.